A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to use read out aloud option in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. You may find this option in the office based tools also, but since this is available in the Adobe Acrobat Pro DC, we are trying to cover this topic while discussing Adobe Acrobat DC options. So this helps you to read any kind of text written in specific language. And uh, for the other case, this is English. And you can also change the speed in form of words per minute. So kind of pitch, loudness, and the voice type. So the second question comes in where this feature can be used and how it can be beneficial. So you can find it very useful when you're writing any kind of technical content or if you want it to be perfect, what happens when we write something and we read silently, we could not detect any kind of disruption in the flow. So it is always recommended to read it aloud. So when we either read aloud ourselves or we allow other tools to read it aloud and when we listen, we detect some kind of minor flaws or if there is a need of some kind of additional text or if you feel that some text is missing, you may detect it very easily while listening it. So if you happen to be in that kind of settings where you're writing any kind of technical content or email even, you can use these options to push the tools to read it aloud for you and then you can listen and detect those flow in the flow. So let's get started. Now we are going to activate this option by going to the view tab and activate read out aloud. Here we have three options. Either you can read this whole paragraph so I'm going to click it and you will see the text, the, the tools will read this only paragraph. What are locusts and their life cycle? Suppose we want to read the whole page or if you want to read the whole document, this document consists of two pages. So for that, what you can do, you can go to the view tab again and choose this page. And you can use a shortcut, shift plus control plus V. But if you want to want the tool to read the whole document, you can use this option, read to the end of the document and you can use a shortcut shift plus control plus B. So I'm going to set first read this page only. What are locusts and their life cycle? Locusts are a collection of certain species of short horned grasshoppers. They are capable to form a gigantic swarm that can spread across miles and miles eating away crops and dreaded for enormous agricultural crop damages. So when you initiate the read out for the page, it will continue reading from the top to bottom of the page. So suppose in that case, we want to uh, pause to do something. What you can do, you can, you can go to the read out aloud option and you can resume and pause. So for that, the shortcut is shift plus control plus C. And if you want to stop it completely, you can use the option stop and you can use a shortcut called shift plus control plus E. So I'm going to show you how to use use a resume and pause option. So I'm going to use a shortcut control plus F plus C. The locust can live between three and six months and there is a chance of 10-16 fold increase. So I was trying control plus F plus C to pause and resume. That is all about the read out, read out aloud option. Now we will talk about how to change some of the settings like uh, voice type pitch parameters and words per minute, kind of in the form of pace. So in order to bring the preference tab, we can use the shortcut control plus K. You will see the preference option or you can go to the edit tab and there is an option called preference. And we will go to the read, ed editing option. And the first option is that how you want the tools to read. So either you can use left to right or you can use a recommended setting. So at this point of time, I'm using the recommended setting. The second option is the defining page versus document. So you can choose destination of convenience. There are a few options. So you can choose out of it. The third option is the read out aloud option. So here you can set the volume and volume can change from one to 10. If you want to make it more louder, you can choose higher value. Let's say 10. If you want a lower value, you can go to the lower value, actually. Uh, 
the fourth option is the use default voice suppose if you want to use a default voice you can use just press there it will choose a default voice but if you want to change it you have three options here David Hazel and Zira so you can choose either of the three option and uh, whichever you find convenient you can choose so for me I like the first one so I'll go with the first one the last option is to change the vary the pitch and you can vary the pitch from 1 to 10 if you want to higher you can choose a higher value and last option is the pace which you can vary with the, uh, pushing the tools to use a higher number of words in one minute so suppose if you want to make it 180 it will go much faster if you want to more make more maybe 200 you can go further higher but if you want to go further down you can also vary from lower to higher value so it will slow down uh, the number of words uttered by the tools so that is all for this discussion and hope it has given you an idea about how to use readout allowed option in Adobe Acrobat Producing.